Before we create a connection, we'll go ahead and authenticate to the Business Objects Repository. Right now I'll log in with the administrator and with the administrator password. We do this so that we can actually see what connections are available in the existing repository. So right now what I'm going to do is go ahead and right click and insert a new relational connection. Uh, relational connections are needed when you're authenticating to SAP BW DSOs. So I'll go ahead and type in the connection name. And once I type in the connection name, I can hit the next button. I'll now toggle down to SAP and select the appropriate connection. Click Next. Now I need to enter in the information for the SAP system. So in this case, uh, System 100, I'll put in my user ID and my password. Once I put in my user ID and password, I can select the language. In this case, the language would be EN. Then I'll also select the system, uh, which is BWQ. Then I'll put in the server's IP address and any other corresponding information that I need. At this point, I'll go ahead and test the connection. I want to test the connection to make sure that the connection is successful. At that point, I want to select the info provider of which this connection will be associated with. So we'll scroll down and see all of the available info providers. We're going to go look for a DSO connection that has been created. So you can see we have a number of connections available to us, a number of info providers available to us. We'll go ahead and select the one for sales orders, specifically the sales order header, and we'll click OK. At this point, it will authenticate that connection. Once this connection is authenticated, we can go ahead and click Finish. Then it's going to prompt us to see if we want to add a shortcut to this connection we will. We'll select a project and then we'll go ahead and close the